The Ohio Bobcats look to be the first 14th seed in NCAA history to win a tournament game, but they were unable to handle the Arizona State Sun Devils defensive pressure and size, losing to the Sun Devils 74 to 55 in Tempe, Arizona Saturday night. The Bobcats found themselves in a huge hole early on as Arizona State jumped out to a 12 point lead in the first half. But the deficit got worse when Katie Hempen took over in the final three minutes. She had eight of the Sun Devils' final 10 points to finish the half, putting Arizona State up 16 heading into halftime. The Sun Devils had nine steals and 41 points at halftime, the most given up by Ohio in the first half of the season. Ohio started the second half with a little bit of fire, narrowing the lead back down to 12, but Hampton took over again. She hit two free throws and a three-pointer in the first five minutes to keep the Sun Devils' lead at 16. Hempen finished the game with 23 points on 5 of 9 shooting from beyond the arc. The Bobcats issues started with turnovers, missed threes, and foul trouble. Keanu Black and Letsy Baldwin both were in foul trouble throughout the game, with Baldwin fouling out midway through the second half. With the two key players being less aggressive due to foul trouble, Ohio couldn't get much going. Black finished the game with just 12 points on 2 of 7 shooting from 3. Her two threes gave her 100 mates on the year, which ties her in the Mid-American Conference record books for made threes in a season. Ohio went 4 of 16 in the game from beyond the arc, and Kiara Lankins led all Ohio scores with 17, while Kat Yell contributed 8. For the Sun Devils, Sophie Brunner had 14 points and 6 rebounds, while the team was able to force the Bobcats to commit 18 turnovers on 13 steals. The Sun Devils will take on Arkansas Little Rock in the second round of the NCAA tournament on Monday. Now begins the offseason preparation for the Ohio Bobcats, who only lose Mariah Byard to graduation this offseason. And the Bobcats will look to repeat as MAC champions next season when Bob Bolden and company return to the convo. For WAB Sports, I'm Matthew Doyle.